Hey guys, my name is Naomi Watts and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Samara cake from the ring. That's right, today we're creating a double-sided Samara cake. One is kawaii and very cute looking. Well, not really, but the other one is definitely terrifying. I love the way this turns out, it looks really creepy. So let's get started. And before we get started, make sure you hit that notification bell. I post videos twice a week, so you can get notified every time a video comes up. Now, to create this cake, I am using my PVC pipe stand system. There are videos on my channel show you how to make this basic stand system. To create her dress, I'm using a four inch half dome cake, and I think a three inch half dome cake. And then for her head, I'm using a six inch half dome cake. I made this at the same time that I made the Pennywise cake. For Halloween, I'm kind of trying to do a lot of double-sided cakes. You know, kawaii versions and scary versions. I don't know why I always have to wait until Halloween because it's my favorite thing to do. I should be doing this all year round. The thing that I loved about this is that I didn't really carve anything on the face. I mostly just carved away at Samara's dress. It really is just two dome cakes that I stacked on top of each other. I just cut it to make a triangle shape. A soft triangle shape. Once I was finished with that, I gave this baby a crumb coat. Then I started to cover the entire thing with fondant. We got Samara's neck first and then I wrapped her in some off-white fondant to create her dress. Now my favorite thing about creating these double sided cakes is that I have like two interpretations of all of Samara's features. So the kawaii side doesn't have that many details but then the creepy side has a whole bunch of details. My favorite side I think of all of these cakes is the creepy side just because I love creating details. So on the quiet side I use some soft fondant tools to create some details and then on the creepy side I'm using hard like plastic fondant tools and just adding a whole bunch more fabric lines. It really makes a difference in the end. Even more so when you see all of the luster dust I place on it to look even more creepy. Now I still have no idea how to cover a dome cake properly. When I'm covering it in one swoop it always like bunches up at the bottom. And I didn't want this to happen especially since they're both like faces. So instead I'm just covering both sides with the same color fondant. There is a seam, a very ugly seam on the sides but it's going to be covered up by Samara's hair so I'm not even going to worry about that. Very simple eyes, just circles with white catch lights and a frowny face. Then I started doing all the work on the creepy side. This was bomb. This is my favorite. I decided to create her eyes first out of fondant because I knew that I was going to have to give her like uh, eyelids and I just worked all of the fondant for the eyelids into the rest of the cake. And I wanted her eyes to like come out even more so I give her big eyelids. Yes, look at that, disgusting. You like it? I like it. It looks disgusting. <laughs> This is like a very smushed interpretation of Samara. This is like if she aged inside the well where she lives and she became this like very tiny smushed old lady. This is what Samara would look like. Oh, she's like a woman golem. Actually without the hair she looks a lot like golem. 
And once I was happy with the way I carved her face, I started to paint. Just using some black food coloring diluted with magic sauce to fill in all of her wrinkles. Ooh, look at that. Whenever I'm like painting cakes on like faces, I feel like I'm working at Sephora. Oh, you wanna be done up? Well, let me show you how I do it. <laughs> Has anyone come out of Sephora looking like this? You better get your money back. Is it free if you sit there and they do the makeup for you? I don't know, I've never been in there. Yo, that red is working really hard though. Now for Samara's arms, I just added two very long arm shapes. And then some sleeves. But for the creepy side, I added more texture to the sleeve. And I also made her arms look veiny because I wanted her to look gross and disgusting. Like kind of like when you go into a pool and you're in the pool for a long time and all of your like fingers are wrinkled. Like that, I wanted her to look like that. She's just one giant wrinkle, this lady. It really does look like a golem, doesn't it? Uh, I think golem is even better looking than this. Now to create Samara's hair, I'm just draping black fondant onto both sides of the cake. I want to make sure that I keep one eye exposed. I didn't have to put the other eye at all. And for the kawaii side, I'm just draping two more long pieces of fondant to create the Samara hair. Oh, whoa, look at that reveal. It's disgusting. Now for the creepy side, I'm draping a lot of very long strands of black fondant and just sticking them on with a little bit of magic sauce to hold them in place. I was worried that the fondant that I was paneling was going to like pull away from the cake and just end up on the cake board, but it held. It was in my fridge for like four or five days because nobody ate it. <laughs> And none of the strands of fondant fell. In fact, they just got hard. After I applied my last strand of fondant, my double-sided Samara cake was complete. I love this cake. I love it. I love the creepy side. It looks fantastic and disgusting. Oh, those lips are gross as heck. I remember watching The Ring in theaters with my friends and jumping when she like crawled out of the TV. Oh. I didn't want a TV for a very long time and then I remembered how much fun it is and I was like okay we can go back to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!